four, three, two, one. Thunderbirds are go. Well, actually, this is go. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Space Engineers on the Xbox. Back again. It's a Saturday. It's a tutorial. And I thought I'd pop onto the red ship map, load it up, change it from creative to survival, jump on board the red ship, and show you how to convert the airlock inside the red ship to one that actually can be depressurized with a button. So what we need to do first of all is make sure that we are on creative mode tools, put invulnerable on, and I'm gonna make untargetable as well. And to get into that menu, it's the RBY. And we're going to dismantle this airlock if you're in survival, you'll be grinding it down like this. But if you're following along with me and you're just doing it in creative, what we want to do is we want to sever the connection with the ship's own air supply because. With an airlock like this, you want to make a closed system. So let's just reconnect up the ship's own air supply. So, so that's now running on its own closed system. And we've got this space in the airlock to play with. The first thing that we'll do is we're going to need a couple of air vents. So we want a junction there. We want to leave two spaces for our oxygen tank and we want another air vent there. Then we're gonna build an oxygen tank, which you'll find in gas and logistics. So spin it around that axis and connect it between the two air vents. It should be empty at the moment. This room is showing a low pressure and cold. Here we can just pop a light armor block in. One light armor block. And now we want to build replacement chunky air vent oops hold on just uh, thinking about it let me just revise this let's push it back a little further into the ship look yeah I like that we should be able to work with that I want to convey a junction. If you hear a cat yelling in the background, it's my cat, Malcolm. He's decided once again that he's going to join in the broadcast and be an utter pain. But I love him. The perils of recording live. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that'll work better. So we want the oxygen tank. Cut that pipe there, and what we'll do is we will see. we'll use some pipe trickery. I'm gonna put a, a good old curved pipe in. Another oh, come on! Oh, I need to do it like this. Space engineers, it's always fun trying to work out where the turn of the pipe is. There we go. And we're going to pop a pipe in there. Okay, this is much better. So we're going to put a conveyor 
in here. We don't want a sort of block. We want the conveyor junction. Like that. And now we want the two air vents. There. And one there. And you can pretty this up afterwards. In essence, that is a closed system in the airlock. And because we're in survival mode, it will actually treat the air properly. And what you do now is go to the control panel of the air vent and change its name. I'm going to put air vent AL1. I'll just find it in the list. Then I'm going to move across, and this microphone will pick up every tiny noise in the background. Like doors opening, closing, and so on. AL2. But I always record these tutorials live anyway, so it doesn't matter. And we're almost done. Time for. One of my favourite additions to Sparks of the Future. Damn you. There we go. Up, up. Sci-fi one button panel. Now, if you remember. Select these two by holding down, first of all, A on air vent AL1, then holding the right bumper, tapping A on AL2, moving the left stick across, and calling this A, V, E, N, T, S for airlock vents. Now we've got the airlock vents. They're a group. So we press the button. And because the button's not connected to anything, it will open up the toolbar config menu. And we go to our groups and we select the group we've made and we choose depressurize on and off. And now we've got a little bit of air in our main room. We can try drawing that in with depressurization. If you check the vent, you'll see that we no longer have room pressure when we press the button. When we press the button again, we'll have a very small amount of room pressure. So the best way to do this, pop open the door and try and find where the air is. I may have cut the air supply completely off, but that's all right. When you build your own, you can literally just the whole thing in a single room. Not 100% used to this ship, to be honest. There we go, got some high pressure in here. I may have cut parts of the ship off while doing it, but uh, that should give us high pressure in here so now we can close this off so when we open that door we're going to blast oxygen into space but if this has worked correctly it's going to start drawing the oxygen out of this room and storing it in this oxygen tank when pressure zero we open the door no oxygen is vented into space and we have an airlock same deal, we come aboard, we want oxygen. We now repressurize the room from the oxygen tank. Remember, it's not now going into the ship system. It's on its own closed oxygen tank. So all you're doing is you're taking one volume of air, putting it into the oxygen tank via the vents on depressurize. And then when you press the button again, it's pushing that air back into the room. So now your ship has oxygen. We want to go into space again. 
we press this button. And open the door. There you go. That's an airlock from the red ship. So you can convert that yourself, play around with it, do what I did, follow along on the video. Uh, you are definitely best to make it a couple of blocks back rather than the first attempt. But when you're doing these things on, on the fly, that's what Space Engineers is about. Reiterating, making things differently. It's your airlock. lot easier than trying to feed all this back into your main ship system because what will happen is all the oxygen from your main ship system will just come flooding into the room when you draw it out you're not actually moving one block of air you're moving a lot more air this will take less time to depressurize your airlock and it means you'll get into space quicker rather than waiting for up to a minute for it to actually change the pressure and that's it that's the simple red ship airlock tutorial you can build that system right there in your own airlocks really simply without too much fuss there's no need to connect it up to anything else except an oxygen tank two conveyors or tubes two air vents a button make a group of the two air vents put them on the button on depressurize on and off and that's it sorted as they say round here. Okie doke. I will catch you in the next one. That's all for now. Take care, stay safe. Bye bye.